Hey everybody, what's going on? If my voice sounds a little raspy, I do apologize. I've been recording some videos and seasonal allergies are really getting to me. But let's talk about a little American rum and the reason why I think you need to have one of these in your collection at all times. We're going to start off here with a little double cask aged rum and we're going to go from there. Man, that's wonderful. Let's start out here with my quick lineup of American rums. When we conclude out of this, I'll tell you exactly the reason why I think you should have one in your collection. We're going to start here. Cedar Ridge American Rum, aged five years and used bourbon barrels. This here is actually a very sweet, very simplistic rum. But overall, I think it does a very good job at kind of bringing that Spanish style molasses base into play. Very good in cocktails. I typically drink it neat or just with a little bit of ice. Second, this is a clear rum that actually has about six to eight months of aging on it. This is the Texas 28 from Round Mountain Distilling Company. Mike out there does a very good job at making really awesome rums. This one here is probably going to be best over ice, but these also do mix very well in cocktails. He's actually got an aged variation out now. I have yet to go out there and pick up a bottle, but I did get to try it when I was there, and it really is pretty tasty, guys. Very good Texas rum there. We're going to go, we're going to stay in the realm of Texas rums, but we're going to go out to Blanco, to Andalusia. We're going to talk about the Texas rum. This is actually an agricole style of rum, a pressed cane juice rum. The newer options are going to be molasses. However, this is one of their earliest bottles from their original release. And this here has a very awesome agricole, grassy, amazing flavor to it, like you would experience in something like Martinique or maybe Granada. I think these are absolutely phenomenal bottles, especially for the price, delivering at 50% by volume, a good punch, a good sweetness, and an absolutely amazing lingering flavor. As y'all can tell, I'm about to be out of this one here, and that's going to be a very sad day. We're going to stay in Texas, because obviously that's where I'm from, and we're going to move over to Treaty Oaks. Now, Treaty Oaks is an absolutely amazing whiskey creator down in Dripping Springs, Texas. This is actually a Specs single barrel store pick at 131 proof. This is their barrel reserve rum. This has been aging for eight years, four months at 131 proof. And this is an absolute picture perfect high aged rum. Now in Texas, we have a hot climate, which leads to a lot of very rapid aging. As y'all can tell, even from my hand being behind the bottle, that's a fairly dark one in relation to a lot of the others. This has been, this has a lot of oak impact. Rum does have the innate ability to pick up on really awesome accents that oak brings into the spirit in a way that whiskey really just doesn't do. Now, I will say, because of the high oak impact on this one here, it is tannic. It is. It does have a lot of the kind of, you know, bitterness from the barrel. This is an absolute crazy vanilla custard creamsicle rum that I really, really enjoy. You just have to work yourself past 131 proof. That's definitely not a beginner proof. We're going to move over here to Portland, Maine. This is actually the working title collection number two. This is their birthday blend that is 70% rum finished inside of a white wine cask. And 30% of this blend is inside of an apple brandy cask. This gives a very nice, sweet, but yet still subtle flavor. This is actually what I have poured in my glass. I think it's an absolutely fantastic rum for the price. Great. Unfortunately, with a, with a lot of other craft distilleries, distribution can be a bit limited. Now, like you can get things like this Treaty Oaks rum at the store, and you will be able to get the Andalusia rum in stores this year, which is absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of other American-style brands uh, that you really can get, especially in small local markets. For the most part, it's best just to support your local distillery anywhere by you. But the reason why I want to talk about American rum is because there's a lot of focus in the industry about, you know, Jamaican rums and Caribbean rums. And I don't want to take anything away from them. But what I do want to highlight is the fact that these American rum distilleries are really cranking out and really producing some absolutely fantastic, well-rounded rums that I think you could really enjoy. I think a lot of these make very interesting and cool cocktails. But for the most part, I find that I sip most of these just neat. Now, any, any, all of these range in, in price from $25 to, say, $100, depending on which one you're buying. But generally speaking, I feel like your price per pound, even in the craft spirits industry, for American rum, is actually pretty, pretty good. 
Now, I think everybody should have at least one solid American rum, maybe like a Balcones, which unfortunately I have finished off recently and no longer have, or something along the lines of maybe one of these Treaty Oaks, a Cedar Ridge. There's also Seven Caves and Privateer up in Maine that are also fantastic brands. I think these, are, these would be very good to add in your collection because it definitely holds a different set of characteristics to the Caribbean style. And depending on kind of who you are, are, are buying from and what brand you have, you actually will have a very pleasant experience start to finish drinking that entire thing. Let me know if you, got an, uh, you, if you have a particular American rum in your collection or one that you've tried, maybe from a local distillery or just something you picked up along the way that you've really enjoyed. I hope your next sip is better than your last. Cheers, everybody. Come have a drink with me.